Monica, your podium. Enjoy and welcome. Thank you very much, Stefan. So, good afternoon, everyone. How is everybody doing today? Looking forward to the weekend, I assume. Okay, uh, let's start, shall we? This morning, the President of the General Assembly, Ms. Maria Fernandez Pinoza, tweeted her heartfelt congratulations to Dr. Denis Mukovegi and Ms. Nadia Murad on winning the Nobel Peace Prize of 2018. President Espinosa said, and I quote, I, your courage inspires all of us. People's voices must be heard to end sexual violence, end of quote. And she also used the hashtag in this tweet of her presidency, which is uh, the hashtag UN for all. Earlier today, she delivered a statement to the third committee, the Social, Humanitarian, and Cultural Committee, welcoming their work and congratulating His Excellency, the Permanent Representative of Afghanistan, Ambassador Mahmoud Saikal, on his election to preside over the committee. Mrs. Spinoza remembered that five out of her seven priorities for this presidency are directly related to the work of the third committee, such as gender equality, people with disabilities, migrants and refugees, youth, and decent work. And on her agenda today, President Espinosa has just had a, um, a meeting with uh, His Excellency, the permanent representative of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Ambassador Kim Song. She is encouraged by the latest developments in regard with the Korean Peninsula, Ms. Espinosa firmly believes that the only and possible way forward is through dialogue. And later today, she will meet uh, the Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations, Mr. Jean Pierre Lacroix. She is very interested in the peace and security reform and in the new peace and security architecture to improve the UN capacity on the ground. And we will have uh, both readouts on our website, which is uh, un.org slash pga slash 73. And on the interviews, uh, we are informing you uh, every day, the interviews that she's granting. Today, she uh, granted an interview to the national newspaper and the Andalou Press Agency. And that's all from me. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I just want to find out from you uh, what the president of the General Assembly, has she been able to get a handle on the uh, festering uh, the Security Council consultations or all that are going on under her, under the, I mean, under the auspices of the PGA? Now, has she had been able to talk to the uh, member stake or the stakeholders about this process that has been taking such a long time and that there is going to be no compromise, it seems, in the near future. So what is she doing to, in order to come, uh, bring the parties together for some sort of compromise on security council reforms? Oh, security council reforms, that's your question, yes. I mean, as a matter of fact, the PGA is um, holding every month uh, her uh, routine meetings with the Security Council, with ECOSOC and other uh, parties in, in this house um, in order to listen to them and, of course, uh, go through, through the agenda. So the meeting for uh, this month uh, was uh, uh, held basically on the day before yesterday with the, the current president of the Security Council. But you understand that this is a, a matter that is going to be discussed throughout the year. So we will have more... Uh, about that for you. Masood, yeah? Okay, thanks. Another question? No? People are looking to the weekend, really, yeah? <laughs> Sharing, okay, as the president just said, okay. Thank you very much and have a lovely weekend. I see you on Monday, okay? Thanks.